Over the years, I've had quite a few people tell me that, or at least indicate to me, that they're not comfortable with the notion of doing a compressed load. Regardless of the reason why they're not necessarily comfortable with it, let me reassure you that compressed loads are not really uncommon. And when you find data that's in a book that is necessarily showing you compressed loads, like this Nosler manual, for example, you know it's a safe thing to do. Now, granted, well here, let's just first of all look at this. I'm using 308 Winchester as the example for this instance. Okay, now the one that's highlighted there and particularly the load with the asterisk using BLC2 with a 168 grain bullet. Look at the density there, the load density. You're looking at 98%. Now the one above it, Vitavori N140, 107%. So it is not that uncommon to have compressed loads. Where you can run into difficulty is getting the projectile not to get pushed back up. Now you can get the powder to settle better and you can get there easier by using what's called a drop tube. You let the powder fall a much further distance and it allows it to settle in the case quite a bit easier. I've also seen guys do things like take an electric toothbrush with a little jig and they vibrate the case to get the powder to settle so you can get up to the recommended powder charge And because maybe you're going to find that that's the best accuracy and maybe you're looking for the bump in muzzle velocity because you want the higher energy because you're hunting or whatever the case may be. No one understand that you know, compressed charges are, are not that uncommon and they're not by themselves unsafe. It, it's no different from any other amount of powder you're putting into a case in that you need to weigh on your scale and make sure you have in grains the amount that's recommended in the load book. Do that and you're golden. This is a gratuitous mugshot for Acura bullets. Happy trails.